dress off my head because I don't want to think about shoveling snow. Anyway, welcome back to the stream. Welcome back to YouTube, you guys. Uh, whether you're watching live or whether you're watching on the YouTube archive. Uh, tonight's game is another game that I'm revisiting just because I enjoy it so much. Uh, this is Life Force for uh, originally for arcades. came out for the NES as well. And now I'm going to play it uh, on stream. Unfortunately, the sound can't be fixed, so this is going to be kind of loud. Hopefully not too, too bad. Going to drop the volume there just a little bit. Um, well, I'm hoping I get some people watching. I totally understand because it's a Friday night, and who wants to be home on a Friday night, right? Hyper speed. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put some credits in here. Because that's what I would have liked to have done. And Destroy the And as I go through and I'm playing this game, I'll tell you a little bit about my history with it. Uh, I've talked about this on stream before, but I always like uh, talking about this game in particular because uh, it reminds me a lot of high school, and I'll get into that as I go. Um, I did first play this as the coin op. I didn't play the Destroy NES version first. I played this version first. Um, back in the late 80s, from like 86 to 90, 1986 to 1990, I have to say that now because we're in the 2000s, uh, I would play this at a small convenience store called Call Corner, which I think is actually still around up in Greenfield, Mass. Now, Greenfield, if you haven't been to Massachusetts before, uh, Greenfield is in the northern part of the state, uh, kind of on the western side. Um, I moved there with my mom in 86. Yeah, I am not doing well. Um, so when I moved there, uh, it was kind of a culture shock. I had been, uh, I was allowed to finish my 8th grade year in Holyoke, Mass before I had to uh, move up to Greenfield, and it was very weird. Uh, not only was I starting uh, a new school, I was starting high school, but I was also starting high school in a place that I had never really been. I didn't know anybody, I didn't have any friends. Uh, it was, uh, uh, very uncomfortable, to say the least. Fire. But Fire. one of the things that made it a little easier Fire. to Fire. deal with uh, was Fire. near the house, uh, there was a convenience store, like I said, called Call's Corner, that had a little addition built. And in the back of the addition, they had some arcade games. And this was one of the games that was there. Uh, and during the course of the stream, I'll talk about all of the games that uh, that were in that arcade, or at least many of them that I remember. Uh, because there are some good ones that I found out about, and I really didn't have to go to a mall or anything. I could just go there and play them there. That was almost too easy. So I've already started off poorly. I've lost a lot of my extra lives already, so uh, this is going to kind of be no good. Um, but we'll see what I can do. Uh, if you've only played the NES version, you haven't played this version before, you probably noticed already that there is a lot of digitized speech here, um, which is one of the coolest things, I think, about the game. Cannot be destroyed. The Konami had speech synthesis in its arcade games uh, for quite some time, uh, and the speech synthesis was usually pretty clear. There were some examples where it wasn't, like Double Dribble, for example, when you listen to the uh, the National Anthem, uh, it sounded very weird. Uh, but there are other games like this one where it did, it sounded great, and still does, honestly, if you ask me. Whoa! Now I'm kind of playing like my life depends on it, and it kind of does, because I'm almost, uh, lost all lives. It's not good. Oh, boss time. Let's see if I can get an extra ship here somewhere. This is going to look familiar to those of you who might be Gradius fans, or Gradius fans. Uh, this is... This ship here has the core in the center, so uh, you have to knock down those three shields in the center, which I'll try and do. 
and then you can go for the core itself. There we go, and back to horizontal we go. I believe now we're in like the fire zone here. Yep. Don't want to get too many speed ups in this game because it becomes very difficult to maneuver the ship the way you want to. You move too quickly in one direction or the other, and it's not good. Uh, so, this was one of the games that was there. Spent quite a few quarters on that. We didn't have tokens in this particular facility, it was always just quarter based. And you had to come with quarters. You could get some change from inside the store every so often, but they really didn't like that too much. Uh, so you tried to go there with quarters if you had them. So I played this a lot. Uh, also there was 1942, which is a Capcom vertical shooter, which you, I'm sure, seen or heard of. Uh, the arcade version is tough. It is very difficult. I was never really that good at it, honestly. Uh, but I liked playing it. Uh, in fact, uh, Mike Matei, who uh, you see him working with Cinemassacre, he had mentioned he had been playing 1943 uh, on the NES. Uh, he'd been streaming it, and I played 1943, and I was never really the biggest fan. Uh, I liked 1942 and how much more simple it was, not worrying about managing power or uh, power-ups. It was just more of a straightforward shooter, which I like. Let's see if I can do this without dying. I need an extra life here if I play this right. Come on. Nope, not quite. Uh, so 1942 is there. Uh, there's also another Konami game called ER Kung Fu, which you may have heard of. That was there. Uh, Matt Mania is there, or was there, I should say. Uh, I've played Matt Mania on stream before. Or, uh, so you've seen that. Uh, I played the heck out of that, uh, even though I was never the greatest at it. So I played that. Uh, Cabal was there. Uh, Splatterhouse was there. These are all weren't there at the same time, by the way. These games kind of rotated in and out. Those were examples of some of the games that were there. Uh, so I loved going to this little place. I would often go after I got out of high school. Uh, because it was right near my house. So if I was walking home from the high school, uh, I would make a stop by the convenience store if I had extra quarters and I would check out the game hall there. And yeah. Oh, I'm done already. Boy, that's not good. Game over! Alright, let's see if I can do better this time. Yikes. Destroy them all! Uh, so Splatterhouse was there, loved Splatterhouse, and a little bit later on, uh, in, uh, for Christmas 1989, my brother got a TurboGrafx-16, and we were able to play, uh, Splatterhouse at home, which was awesome. Uh, that game's a lot of fun. I never was really that good at it. I did beat it a few times, but in trying to play it again over the last few years, uh, on the Wii Virtual Console, playing the TurboGrafx-16 version, I am not good at it. <laughs> um, I think I can get about like three quarters of the way through the game, but I can't beat it. Uh, maybe it's that my reflexes are kind of going, or maybe I've just forgotten how to play it well. But, uh, so that I have memories of, for sure. Um, you know, Cabal I had mentioned, I, I love playing Cabal on the NES. Uh, the NES version is actually quite good. And this game, which I played a lot of. And because there was a continue option, uh, I would continue and uh, play as best I could. I did beat the game... Although it was much later, like my senior year of high school, I think I wound up doing it just because I had a little bit more money to work with at that point. Uh, but it definitely took me some time to beat the game, and this is definitely a game of practice. Uh, learning where everything is, 
learning how, uh, how everything is placed, where the bullets are going to be, so you don't lose lives uh, foolishly, because you only get so many to work with. Oh my goodness gracious. Ah, uh, come on, don't do that. Fire! Fire! Close the pole. Fire! There we go. Eye of so I've played a lot of this. Um, and when I finally did beat it, it was definitely a very, very cool occasion. <laughs> uh, I've only beaten a few arcade games, honestly. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't really beaten that many. Uh, but this is one that I did beat. Um, oh my gosh. I'm not playing well. Enter Kidney Zone. Enter Kidney Zone. This is what your kidneys look like, kids. Not really. And I need laser fire in the worst way here. Pick it up for laser. Here we go. Kidney stones cannot be destroyed. Yeah, kidney stones can't be destroyed, and they are way painful. <laughs> if you're a guy and you get, you have to pass a kidney stone, you will wish you were dead. Um, not even playing. I passed one back in 2013, so six years ago. Uh, and that was easily the worst pain I have ever experienced in my life. Uh, <laughs> and unfortunately the statistics say that I am due for another within the next probably three years, four years or so. So I'm definitely not looking forward to that. Uh, I don't understand how this can be a kidney, but whatever. You probably notice if you're playing this, this is all based on body parts. Okay, let's see if I can do well here. Destroy center membrane. Come on now. That was easy enough. Enter stomach inner chamber. Warning, warning, danger zone. Acid flame, hyper speed. Flame eruption. Oh, I got one too many speed ups, so now I am like too smooth, too quick when I move. Eruption. Flame eruption. 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 So good news on the channel front. Um, I got the two games that I was expecting or that I was waiting for today. Uh, one of which is going to be for my extra special episode, which I'm going to be uh, airing on Monday the 4th. Uh, so I'm really excited for that one. Uh, it has been one that I've been waiting to do. Um, I think I got the game I'm going to be opening, I think I got that like three months ago. Uh, so I've been sitting on it all this time. Uh, I do have other copies of the game. Uh, so I don't need, I didn't need to open it right away to play it. I did mention that it's one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, and in fact, in the last stream, we were playing Moon Patrol last night. Uh, one of the viewers actually got the game right. She was actually able to identify where it was. So that uh, that episode will probably be filmed on Sunday the 3rd, and it will be going up on Monday the 4th. It will be scheduled for Monday the 4th uh, sometime in the morning. Enter liver zone. Uh, and I also did get the, the other game that I had alluded to, um, which is a baseball game from 1991. So it's one of the older games that I've opened. 
and that will be sometime a little bit later. I'm not going to do that one right away, I don't think. I thought about doing an episode tonight, but I think I'm going to wait because I've streamed uh, two straight days. Uh, I think I've got enough content to last until uh, the episode goes up on the, on the 4th. So I'm glad that those came in. I was uh, not happy about the fact that one of those was actually supposed to be delivered yesterday, but there was uh, some complaint saying that uh, that they weren't able to get to my house, which is just absurd. Um, whoa! That's not good. Uh, but I do have the game now. That's all that's important. So I'm looking forward to doing that uh, that episode. If you did miss uh, last night's stream, uh, just to catch you up, um, the Unsealed show will get to 100 episodes, uh, but it will be ending uh, this year. Uh, primary reason for that is just that it's gotten too expensive. <laughs> uh, because I do buy all the games myself, um, and I've bought quite a few, I just, I don't have, uh, the money to spend on the project anymore, like I had. So, uh, I will be getting to episode 100, probably a little bit more than that. I do have some episodes lined up, including a, uh, a golf series, where I have some games going all the way back to the NES days. So those will definitely be happening. I'm not ending prematurely or anything, uh, but I'm not going to be adding too many more games, if any at all. Uh, one thing that had been brought up, uh, or one idea that had been brought up, is that I, uh, I do less episodes, stick to maybe like one a week, and kind of drag it out a little bit. Um, and I may do that, especially when it comes to the golf stuff, I'd like to be able to make that, uh, make that a series. They have quite a few golf games that I want to get to. So I will see if that's going to be the case. Link up with weapon. Oh, oh boy. Uh, I also mentioned on the stream last night uh, that even when Unsealed does end. Uh, the channel will still get updated content. Uh, I still plan on doing streams, at least until PlayStation 4 streaming isn't allowed anymore. Um, and I still do have some series ideas. I have another uh, series that I've been doing called Repeat, which is basically talking about uh, one or two games, or maybe like a game concept, uh, and my experience with it. So I'd like to continue to do that. Uh, and with Unsealed being uh, being done, or once that once the series wraps, uh, I'll have more time to dedicate to that. Uh, so the channel won't be going anywhere. Oh, wait, although I'm losing lives by a dozen. Fire! Um, but Unsealed will definitely be uh, running its course. Uh, there certainly is no guarantee that, or I'm not saying that it's going to be over permanently. Uh, you know, I may bring it back or I may do special episodes every now and again if I happen across... Ugh, that was terrible. If I happen across a, um, a sealed game for a decent price. But it's not going to be a constant thing. It's still hard to believe that I've done 84 episodes of the show. Uh, the next one, which will be the special episode, is going to be number 85. Uh, so it's definitely cool that I've been able to do that many. Uh, it's certainly the longest series that I've ever done. Uh, here comes the another Gradius reference. How did I not die right there? I died there. And we're just gonna keep doing it, aren't we? Yep. And unfortunately, in the arcade game, there is no Konami code, so if you lose your power-ups at this point, you're kind of stuck. It's a really cool uh, Gradius reference. Oh, this is 
Great, I have a missile. Major, it doesn't mean no good. So this is the last area of the game, by the way. As you can see, I'm just losing lives. Whoop. Like there's no tomorrow. This is why you put a lot of quarters in to start. <laughs> if you put a lot of quarters in to start, then you have a lot of lives left in reserve. Oh, it's the Moai heads. Classic. All this with, like, that typical uh, Konami fashion in terms of graphics and characters. I mean, the, the Gradius influence, obviously, is here. I think this is the brain here. Destroy the four point. Ah! I don't know why a brain makes that sound, but okay. Now things kind of speed up, if I remember right. It's out of the brain quickly. Oh! Very Mega Man esque here. Some scaling. Kaboom. And then the game continues. So once I lose these last lives, I'll be done with it. Um, what else can I mention here? Um, I can tell you that, uh, oh boy, that was not good. That next year, which is going to be 2020, that is going to be my 30 year, 30 years since I graduated from high school. So it's been more than 30 years now since I played this game for the first time. <laughs> uh, it definitely makes me feel old, I gotta say that much. Um, High school, uh, I was not a fan. Uh, high school, at least until my senior year, was very, as it is for most people, very uncomfortable. Um, back when I was in high school in the late 80s, uh, there was a definite class system. Uh, you know, if you were like me and you like video games, uh, you, know, you were a geek for sure. Uh, definitely a different time now. Uh, video games are much more accepted. Back then, uh, they were more frowned upon. Uh, I was a band geek for sure. I spent a lot of time in the music room. Uh, band chorus, dance bands, select chorus. Uh, anything musically, uh, I wanted to do it, and I did it more often than not. Um, I have to admit that I kind of... Uh, the second half of my high school career, I kind of phoned it in a little bit. I regret that now. Uh, I probably should have graduated with much better grades than I did. Uh, the reason that I graduated with the grade point average that I did is because I took honors classes. So even if you got like a C or whatever, you're still GPA-wise doing pretty well. So I regret that. Um, I should have tried harder. I remember my senior year of high school, I had two legit classes. I had you know, English class and French class, and everything else was either gym or um, or English. I'm mean, sorry, gym or or music really. I'm sorry. Uh, so I definitely um, I was allowed to goof off quite a bit my senior year, <laughs> um, but that was one of the reasons why working so hard in the first part of high school made it worth it because then. You had the ability to kind of goof off a little bit and still be easily uh, in the range of graduation without not having to worry about not having enough credits or not having taken the right courses. Definitely the first two years or three years of high school were, uh, were the toughest. Um, 
So music was my thing in high school. Um, I really didn't apply myself much in my, my English courses. Um, unfortunately, I had a really bad experience in seventh grade with an English teacher. Uh, to the point where it made me hate reading, and even to this day, unless it's like video game related stuff, I'm not the biggest fan. <laughs> uh, and I need to be better with that, especially as a teacher. I do some reading, I love reading to students and, and things, um, but I definitely need to work on that. But that was, that was a bad scene, uh, seventh grade. And middle school is that formative age where if things go wrong, if you have a personality conflict with a teacher, it can ruin a subject for the rest of your if your rest of your school career. Uh, and that's kind of what happened to me. Remember. I was never really good at math. I had always struggled with math even when I was in elementary school. I don't really have an explanation for that. I just did. Um, I never really took math seriously enough until I went back to school to college and when you go to college, especially if you haven't been in school for a while, you have to take placement exams so they can figure out what classes you're good at and uh, to and place you appropriately because you need to know morning, certain levels morning, of math in order to be considered college level. Uh, and I bombed my college placement tests for math. Oh my gosh, it wasn't even funny. Uh, I'll never forget it. Uh, I was majoring in... Gosh, I was majoring in computer science at the time, and I had to meet with the guy, and he was telling me, man, you know, your English scores were off the charts, great. But what happened to your math, though? Did you look at anything before you came for this placement test? <laughs> I did not. Uh, and it showed. Uh, it was definitely embarrassing. Um... But once I took those classes, and I was uh, definitely more dedicated to my studies in college, uh, because I needed to be, uh, you know, I needed that college education in order to get a decent job. Um, so I took things seriously, and it wasn't long before I was taking, like, statistics. I didn't take any of the really hard math courses, though. I tried to keep things Plane pretty simple. Eruption. Ugh. Multiple. Attack head. I am doing terribly. Multiple. So, but getting back to high school, yeah. Mostly music, some gym courses, even though I am not athletically gifted at all. Um, I did take four years of French, obviously I have to take four years of English. Um, Enter liver zone. And yeah, music courses were my favorites. Um, I was pretty good musically, although I didn't learn to read music until I was a senior in high school. <laughs> uh, my music teacher made serious exceptions for me when it was time for us to do concerts or practice or whatever. Um, when I couldn't read music, uh, he would let me listen to recordings and I would just copy what I heard. You know, and watch him for cues and stuff. Uh, he was probably the most influential teacher that I had in my entire school career. Uh, all 13 years. Uh, going from kindergarten to being a senior in high school. He was uh, the dad I never had. So I was very fortunate to run into him and to have him. He always looked out for me. Um, and I, you know, I could not have had a better role model uh, than him. So very fortunate to have had him uh, in high school. Um, yeah, I was, I was socially awkward. Oh gosh, man. I, I, <laughs> you know, we had a teen center, so we had things to do on weekends up there. We didn't. We weren't at a lack of things to do, but I always would go uh, when at the teen center where other people would go out on the dance floor and dance or, or or socialize. I would hit the arcade there, and I'd be playing games like Cyberball and Time Pilot '84, uh, Karate Champ, things like that. I wasn't big into socializing, probably until like my junior year, and at that point, you know, and because of my social awkwardness. When it came time to like dating and stuff, I was never very popular. 
Um, high school is definitely uh, as challenging as it was. I, I do miss it. Uh, certainly did a lot of cool stuff back then. And just the time period was pretty cool, I think. Um, with arcades being so prominent back then, uh, and video games, like, pretty much everywhere you look, uh, you, know, there, you never had a lack of a place to find an arcade game to play. As long as you had a quarter in your pocket, uh, you were going to find somewhere to spend it. Uh, whereas now, you really don't see arcade games too often, if at all. Sometimes you'll find them in arcades or places like Dave and Buster's, but more often than not, you don't see very much. Um, malls are pretty much dead, which is unfortunate. Uh, the local mall posted a picture of what it used to look Wake like with weapons. Uh, as part of like the, some natural National Retro Day thing. And that made me feel old, because I used to spend a ton of time at that mall right up until 2000, really. And they had some really cool places there. They had, at one time, they had two different arcades. Uh, they also had um, an indoor mini golf course. They had an indoor laser tag room that also had a top skater machine, if you know what top skater is. For those that don't, Top Skater was a skateboarding arcade game that had a skateboard attached to it. So if you were going like, to do kickflips and stuff, you actually had to kick the, the tail in order to make it happen. It was the only way that I could really skateboard, because if you put me on a legit skateboard, uh, I'm probably taking a trip to the emergency room. Oh, I'm almost done. Oh, I'm going to be done here shortly. I don't have any credits left. Prepare for biomechanical music. That's okay. Fire! Ooh. Oh, that's not good. Nope. I got a million points, though. That's pretty good. Of course, I spent like ten dollars and quarters to get there, <laughs> but I did beat the game once. We'll go ahead and we'll register the score. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a relatively short stream. Uh, I just felt like getting on camera for a little bit. It's been a little bit of a stressful day, so I wanted to air some of that real quick before I settle down for the night. Um, weekend plans, like I said, uh, the new episode of Unsealed will go up on Monday the fourth. Going to be working some on a project, on a uh, writing project, so I'm not going to be uh, I'm not going to be online too too much. Is I've got uh, like I want to do uh, two or three game reviews this weekend that I have to do for this project, so uh, that's what I'll be focusing on. Um, also, just be doing some gaming on my own, maybe some older gaming systems and stuff. I may try and sneak in uh, another brief stream tomorrow night if I get some time, uh, but we will see. So, thanks very much for checking this out. Uh, those of you who are here live, I really appreciate it. Those who you who are watching on uh, on the YouTube sure channel, I appreciate that as well. And we'll do this again real soon. Don't forget to uh, circle March 4th on the calendar. It's going to be a very special Unsealed episode, and I hope you check it out. Take care, everybody. Have a great weekend. See you later. Welcome.